everyone welcome to my channel well this is not like you know a course so I can't say welcome to jobskillshare.org I can't say that this is more like you know just me and you talking together so a um, few questions that you know I got uh, in the email and uh, on also the YouTube channel that tell us something about the interview what should we do to prepare ourselves for the job uh, and what kind of questions should we expect from the other party so let's say for example in this video you are that person that you're ready you have done all the courses you went through the job skill shared out or course or maybe you did come here a plus and you have some hands-on experience and you think you're ready but you're not sure where to start now you're in that little uh, your confidence level is a little low because you know you don't know where to start so that's what I'm gonna talk about now from the beginning of this video I want to say that every single person has different experience so whatever I'm saying might not be might be totally different for someone else in different part of the world so I'm just talking about myself so don't kill me if I say something and you think no it shouldn't work that way okay but if you do think that it's it's uh, you know you're being successful the other way then don't just say I got a job and then that's it the comment is over make sure you tell us how did you get it because that's the main purpose that we tell other people and we're helping other people so that we can know more and more and more and more so I'm gonna start right now if you're done with everything and you're ready what I want you guys to do is first start with your resume okay now I'm not a professional I'm not an expert in resume but I can tell you a little tips on resume and, uh, and especially from the IT side you know when you start your resume you have your first uh, little paragraph or whatever your statement is there like you know your professional IT blah 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 right after that put your main points put your points like you know some terms what I mean like uh, you know like you know put put in dots patch management system training or or maybe something like that you know um, imaging or terms what I mean by terms you know when someone open your resume they probably might not want to go through each uh, job and descriptions and what do you do at the job it's just a lot of text you know so what you want to do is grab those terms and put it right the front like you know the main air right after your statements uh, uh, short statement put your uh, terms in the dots like patch management systems uh, Windows servers or Windows Linux administration dot 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 like that just five or six points so it makes your resume look really good and of course you are going to add your certification and you know this course also uh, like the one that you're taking on jobskillshare.org uh, because there's a lot of uh, it's the titling matters you know when you put these titles it matter it makes your resume look really good uh, compared to someone who don't have it so that's number one number two and the most important thing what people forget and people really don't do you know I've noticed so many people that don't do this let's say for example you go to indeed.com and you start searching for jobs and you don't change the dates you know what I mean by dates like recent dates so what if what happens like right now if you go to indeed.com and say help this support and you see all the jobs and they're 30 days old they're 40 days old then think about it 40 days meaning for 40 days there are people applying to that job top 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 applying to that job okay so it's kind of hard if you are new brand new and you don't have experience you your resume will not be that good in front of the people who have already applied to these jobs maybe they have so many other people that already picked up with so much experience and things like that so what I want you to do is a little trick into it if you want uh, the cause like you know if you want someone to call you quickly is to change to go to indeed.com and change the date to recent and that could be another site too like career or something and other big sites you know dice.com so change the, the recent date to put it as a recent date and then put your title then you will see the most recent like today somebody just uh, you know started um, uh, the job uh, uh, like you know offering today so when you send it today at least you're on the first you know now if they follow their 
like you know their department whatever HR uh, they have like a rule that hey if someone apply to us first we really need to look at their it's kind of like you know it makes sense you know you came first I look at your resume first so that's what I'm talking about so think about it what if there's a company they want immediately help this guy immediately so when they pick up your resume and you get more chances to get picked now see that's what one thing that you need to remember and the second thing that I know for sure that people only apply once a day or twice a day and they think they applied and, and they're expecting an answer that is a totally wrong thing trust me it's not 10 years ago 10 years ago maybe this was true but today there are so many people coming to IT field there are so many from different careers it's packed now so you have more competition so if somebody throws out the job out there trust me in hours they're gonna get uh, they're gonna get applications like that so what you want to do is don't just apply one place I would keep I would make my own schedule like if you're looking for a job then you want a job right so just work for it a little bit get up in the morning uh, like you know around 8, eight o'clock or 9 o'clock but that's where people go in and maybe, maybe uh, I don't care when you go but but at least put like 15 minutes into it and look for recent jobs maybe you haven't uh, seen the new one so just keep applying keep applying keep applying and wherever you apply put a note to yourself that you apply to this position okay and then their uh, their titles and everything because you get called sometimes you get a call and you applied so much and you forget it doesn't look good if somebody call you and you don't even know where did you apply you know it could be a totally different uh, job that you applied and you don't even know what you like you know what you're talking about so you want to make sure that you have that track so if someone call you you know you might not want to pick up for the first time because let them leave the voicemail so you hear what, where they are from and then you go back to your your paper and you look at it up oh, this is where they are from this is their title and this is what they were asking for so I know which when I talk to the person I know what kind of terms that I'll be using more so that's the first step is to resume second is to apply now you got calls damn good you got the calls okay so you're ready now you're you're preparing yourself so what's number one thing is this way um, a lot of people go outside and start looking for interview questions um, let me tell you something there's a good trick to it these days people do not ask what is port 80 what is TCP you know, they don't ask these kind of things. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people, some people might do it, but, but trust me. People ask, do you know Office 365? Do you know Active Directory? Do you know how to add a user? Do you know how to reset a password? Do you know how to install software like deployment, software deployment, things like that? You know, people ask terms these days, and the, the, the technology that is, is basically like, you know, hot these days. And Office 365 is hot, for especially for like schools. Just go right now. I want you to go and do a test. Go and go to Google and uh, just type portal and uh, portal, uh, sorry, office365.edu. Just put .edu, office365.edu. And just check how many universities, how many universities are using that. I mean, you just put .edu, but you look at it and there's gonna be tons of universities using portals so that tells you that there's basically big market and that's just edu i'm just using edu but there's like dot org there's so many people that are using this so think about it you're going to get these questions and there are terms questioning and do you know how to do this do you know how to do this this is why one of my videos that i made of the actual directory is more than 100,000 views right now i mean i don't i wasn't really thinking about it but every video about active directory is more than 50,000 100,000 and it's just going to blow because people ask a lot of questions basic questions because one of the most uh, you, you get a lot of calls by you know I I just got uh, locked out um, and uh, how do you reset my account blah 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 you know so people are gonna ask you all these uh, you know HR people or any uh, IT people they're gonna ask you do you know how to create an account do you know how to reset an account okay give us an example somebody's locked out what do you do he's automatically thinking that you know Active Directory kind of like that you know you're locked out in a domain controller domain control environment somebody say oh you know you're locked out what do you do so you oh you know what I go to Active Directory and I just right click on the user account go to properties uh, and then do unlock and things like that you know you that's what people are asking these days so hopefully I answer some of the questions kind of give you guys a little idea but this is not everything 
Uh, and again, if you think that you have done it a different way and you went some total different way, so just don't say that I got a job and uh, I did a different way. That just doesn't make any sense. It makes people confused. If you did it, please help us. Put on the in the bottom below in the comments below. Put it and say how did you get it? What type of questions did you got? So then other people can learn from it and then they have success. So thank you for watching this. And if you have more questions, let us know. We will keep making videos for you guys. Thank you.